So we just finished our final day of testing. It's been a pretty crazy couple of days. Uh, they just drove in with Andre's car on the on the back of the truck. We had nothing wrong with that car. We were running it out of petrol so we can see how long we can see the data and um, and then how far he can go from the point that it drops into the, the fuel pot. Not far as it turns out, but everyone that's been here over the last two days has done that at least one time. Pretty happy with the way the cars have all gone. I bought one of these wheel nuts I showed you yesterday. I talked about how the clip has been in. We tried this today. It wasn't perfect, but it's definitely better. You can see how that clip's been in there. So a uh, bit, more, bit more work to do with that. The other issues that we had was a lot of teams have been having trouble with transaxles coming loose. We had a bit of a problem with that with, with uh, Jack Smith's car and uh, yesterday damaged the tail shaft, but we got that tightened up. Uh, we've had a couple of brake issues. Uh, on Andre's car, we've had uh, a few electrical issues. Everything that we'd expect to have with a brand new rollout like this, uh, the wheels are sticking on a little bit, all things that we need to get on top of, hopefully before we get to Sydney Motorsport Park test, but definitely before we start to go to Newcastle. So come inside for a sec, let's see if we can find a driver to chat to. Uh, hey Jack, uh, let's swing around this way for a second. So I know you love this stuff, but how was your day? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, it was up and down, to be honest. It's hot, greasy, and yeah, it's pretty tricky to work out what you got most of the time. But the cars are cool, and I think two days of solid running, and we've you know haven't really had any faults, so I can't complain. Sometimes you get in a different car, but you can't really tell. You know what I mean? Like it's different from the outside, but inside it's a race car. Does this feel a lot different when you're sitting in it? You know, are you aware how much wider it is? Is it trickier? Yeah, I wouldn't say, I think, trickier, we'll find out, but um, yeah, you can definitely feel that it's wider, um, you know, the most different, everything different. I think the supercar fundamentals are still, you know, there, but I think, yeah, everything visually and, you know, when you're sitting inside, you know, you can't really see as much out of them as the old ones, but uh, yeah, you can definitely tell you're in a different car, put it that way. Cool, thanks, Jack. We'll let you go and get changed. Let's just duck next door and see if we can find anyone else. Um, to chat to but really as uh, as Jack's alluded to pretty intense couple of days but we've we've got some good outcomes we've got a lot of data we can pour through and then we'll get back to the shop and we'll see how that goes I think just about everyone's gone and they're packing up so that's probably the end of this chat but really happy with the way all the cars have turned out and run uh, I think that the SET car and the Pizza Hut car um, all our cars, I mean, I know I'm biased, so I think they look good. Thanks for watching the videos. We're going to keep updating you as we go along. We're getting back to the workshop, and there'll be things to talk about in the next couple of days that we can update you as we pull everything apart, service the cars, put them back together. I'll keep you up in touch with exactly what we're doing. Thanks for watching.